Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Say hello. There we go. All right, so I got the live up there. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? Hi, Josh. Hello, everybody. Hello. Just trying to pull up the live here. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> A bunch of people going live tonight, I guess, huh? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Awesome, Josh. How's it going? All right. So if y'all wouldn't mind sharing this for me, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, give my page a like. And that will help you to be notified um, whenever I go live. And I'm just waiting for my computer to cooperate over here with me. Oops. Hey, hon. Alright, so what I'm going to make tonight for you is a cardinal wreath using this little sign right here. And this sign comes from Personally Yours by a lot of my signs from her. Hi, Nathan. I put my sticker on here, I forgot. So I put my sticker on the back. It's just got my business name, my um, website, and my phone number. In case they ever need to get in touch with me, they'll have it. And then right below that is where Lee puts her sticker. Hi, Hope. Hi, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me. So that's the sign I'm going to use. This is an 8-inch um, round here. It's not one of those big ones that takes up the whole wreath. All right, I made my own frame as usual. Um, tonight I used tinsel ties because I still have some of those left. Um, I got them at Walmart last year. Let me put this camera down just a little bit there. <clears throat> so I did my ties. I have eight on the top, ten on the bottom. I spaced mine out uh, four and a half inches. Of course, flex tubing. I'm going to be using this white mesh for, I know that light is, I don't know why it's awful bright like that tonight. Maybe if I move this camera. But the, uh, I'm going to use the white 21 inch mesh. And then I'm going to use this um, red and white checked snowball mesh. That's going to be our ruffles. And then I've got some ribbons here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you sharing for me. I've got a solid red. Let me go this way. It's got a nice shimmer to it. I have a green. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to that. I have the holly berries, 
because in the sign there's the holly berries here so we're going to use that and then of course the cardinals gotta have that so and i think i'm going to put i think i'm going to put the green yeah i'm going to put the green with the cardinals and the red with the holly berries do that. So those are our ribbons. My ribbons are cut at 14 inches. And then I've got some little fillers here. I've got some little pine cones and berries because we've got pine cones and berries in the sign. So we want to carry that over. And then of course I've got some little cardinals. So we'll be using those. Let me get all this out of the way here so I can get started. So everybody doing good tonight? Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. And if you haven't already, give my page a like. Once we get to 2,000 likes, we're going to have a giveaway. We are at 1945 right now, so we need 55 more likes. 55 more likes. That went quick, too. Got kicked off. All right, so I'm going to be doing 12 inch poofs. This is kind of a thin mesh. It's got a little bit of a shimmer, iridescent um, It's not really a film or a line. I don't know. I guess it is, but foil. Um, this one came from Hobby Lobby, so it's not as thick as I would like it to be, but we're going to do ruffles and fill it in anyway, so we'll be good. Thank you. <laughs> You're watching with me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to zip tie this to my frame. So we've been celebrating lots of birthdays this week. Mom had hers yesterday, and today is my grandson, Roger's 12th birthday. So he is celebrating with the family tonight. They are having pineapple pizza, and they were out shopping for his cake, so I don't know what kind he actually got. He mentioned in the car he wanted blueberry cake. <laughs> But I don't think they have that. I'm going to trim off some of this end here. Hey, Sherry. So I will find out later what kind of cake he got. My mom had her birthday yesterday, and she got to go shopping with me while well, I went and bought some supplies. So I'm sure it was a fun-filled birthday for her. <laughs> okay. So I'm just measuring these out 12 inches. I start at the top. It's just what I prefer. Can y'all see everything okay? Do I need to turn the camera down anymore? Looks okay here. You're at the urgent care, Mom? We need to be called. All right, well, I'll, check, I'll text Dad after I get off of here then. Bob, are you still on there? Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Yes, Mary is my mother-in-law, you guys. She's in California.
Okay, maybe you should text him. Hi, Sonia from New York. How are you? You guys, if you're new, tell me where you're from. We get lots of new people from all over the country. It's nice to see where everybody's from. Connect with people that are from your area. So tell us where you're from and that it's your first time watching. Alabama, welcome. I am in North Carolina, for anyone that does not know. Ohio, welcome. South of Houston, South Carolina, welcome you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new and you want to get alerts to when I go live, just type in the word alert or live and you will get a message from the messenger bot and it will ask you if you want to subscribe to my notifications and just say yes and then you'll be on the list. And I don't use it for spam. All I do is um, send out one message every week telling you what time I'm going live and what I'm making. So if you want to receive that, just type in the word live or alert. And you will be notified. Welcome everybody from, oh, well, we got Canada, West Virginia, New York. One of these days we're going to hit all 50 states in one night. We hope anyway, right? Alright, that one's a little too twisted. I'm going to undo that. Undo this one too. Yep, the live alerts is through mini chat. And what it does is every week when I go live around 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I send out an alert that says, hey, I'm going live at 8 o'clock. And it tells you what I'm making. And that's it. You don't even have to respond. Welcome, welcome from Independence. Okay, Mom, that doesn't count. You can't tell all the states you've ever lived in. Hey, Robin. There's my group, one of my group members. Teresa from South, South Carolina. I know, I'm no fun, right? The old party pooper here. Alright, so now I'm done with the top. I'm going to move down to the bottom. So I'm going to zip, pull this down and zip tie this to the frame. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Hello. All right. So I've just zip tied this to the bottom, right in front of a, a twist tie. And I'm going to skip over that tie. Oops, that one's a little too big. I'm going to skip over that tie and go to the next one because when I come back, I'm going to end in this one.
Hello from Tennessee, Georgia, Wisconsin. I hear you. Mine was in for 24. He still works with the military. We didn't get to move around a whole bunch, but he was pretty much stationed here at Fort Bragg because he was with the 82nd. Which, if you don't know what the 82nd is, it's an airborne unit or airborne um, now I can't even think what it's called. Yep, home of the Airborne. 82nd. And the 18th Airborne Corps, but he was in the 82nd. Just tucking my sides in here because I want that division. Thank you, dear. I knew you were listening. Hello from Watertown. How are you doing, Linda? You guys getting that cold weather yet? Air Force. Love the military. So what's everybody got going on this week? Houston, Texas, welcome. Arizona, welcome. Y'all, our bartender is busy celebrating her youngest son's birthday tonight, so... We probably will not have any refreshments going around unless someone else does it. Got to celebrate those birthdays. At least while they're young. You get to be our age, we don't want to celebrate them anymore. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We are here every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. I say we, it's me. Me and all of you. Every Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. From Bixby, Australia. Good morning. Oh, congratulations. Your daughter's getting married. Oh, fun. Love weddings. She's celebrating her son's birthday tonight, so 
they're having their own little celebration. Her youngest turned 12 today. Bixby, Oklahoma. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I didn't think it was Ohio, but you never know. All right, so I'm in the last tie now where I started, so I'm just going to finish this off right in here. Yeah, my grandson is um, celebrating his birthday tonight. He's 12, so they're doing their thing. Um, the white mesh is from Hobby Lobby. I don't usually um, buy my mesh from them, but um, I needed a white, and they had it. Yeah, we forgive her this time, right? <laughs> She's a busy mama. She has five babies, y'all. Well, they're not all babies, but 14 down to six. She will have four teenagers next year. Four. Y'all, I was smart. I did it one at a time. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off. Oh, nice, a women's conference in New York. All right, I'm gonna zip tie this to the bottom of the frame so it doesn't come undone. I know, everybody misses her when she's not here. <laughs> I told her she's more famous than I am. They want to see her too. <laughs> I think they just come to see her or get the drinks. All right, so we're done with this. All right, we'll get that out of the way. All right, so now I'm gonna add ruffles. This is 10 inch mesh. It's a white and red check snowball mesh. I got this from um, Carolina Pottery. And I cut these in 22 inches because that way you get one roll. Gives you 18 pieces. I'm trying to keep it from rolling up, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Welcome from Virginia. Thank you all so much for joining me. So if you haven't already done so, I'd really appreciate it if you give my page a like. I, um, I'm almost to 2,000 likes on my page. When I get to 2,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. And we are at four, 1945 as of tonight. So hopefully, I'm going to take these off. Hopefully we will get there by the end of the month. I'm sure we will. And then I will do a giveaway. So we'll have to figure out what we want to get. I'm putting one of these in every tie. This wreath is already listed in my Etsy store. It um, does not have a picture up, obviously, yet, but it does say made on Facebook Live for anyone that might be interested. I know there's a lot of people who love cardinals. 
Y'all know what the cardinal means when you see a cardinal? I'm sure everyone does, but I'm going to ask anyway. There she is. I just told them you weren't going to be here because you had a party of your own going on. Did he get a blueberry cake? See, I told you, Cindy, you're more popular than I am. There's Lee. Hi, Lee. How are you? Y'all, if you don't know who Lee is, she is the person who made this sign that I'm using tonight. And her page is called Personal Lee Yours. And I did put that in the description tonight for you. I love her signs. I use a lot of her signs. <laughs> Oh, he got an ice cream cake. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you were going to have any luck getting that blueberry cake. Oh, I'm sorry you couldn't find me. Yep, I'm, I'm here. I came on at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock Eastern. The, me the red mesh is cut at 20 inches. And with one roll, you'll be able to get all 18 pieces for eight, if you want to do 18 ties. I don't know, some people do half ruffles and half curls, but I, I haven't, um, I didn't do that tonight. Right, yeah. The way I've always been told is that if you see a red cardinal, it means that someone who's passed is visiting you. Oh, that's nice. Yes, I love Lee's signs. I have been buying her signs since I started doing wreaths. I have lots of them over here. I don't know if you can see them. Over there, there's a whole mess of signs. She's been putting out lots of new ones that I have been very tempted to get. But unfortunately have to use some of what I have first. Because I don't think I can use them all up this season. I've already got more things that I want to get done than I can actually get done. I have a craft fair coming up on the 19th of October. And I have so many plans that I have things I want to get done before then. And I don't think it's going to happen. The white mesh is 21 inch. And I did 12 inch poofs. The red and white I got at um, Carolina Pottery. But I'm sure you could find red and white just about anywhere. Um, I think even Hobby Lobby had some similar to this. Not the exact same, but very similar. Yep, Deco Exchange 
craft outlet, the wreath shop. I am in Fayetteville, near Fort Bragg. <laughs> if you see a red cardinal in the woods, there's a turkey near. Well, that'd be one way. Wilmington. I love Wilmington. Yeah, you're about two, about two hours from me, I guess. Somewhere in that area, maybe an hour and a half. Well, if you're in Wilmington, then you probably know about Carolina Pottery. Although, I don't think you have one down that way, but Myrtle Beach would probably be the closest to you. The red and white are cut at 20 inches. Oh, my fingers do not want to work. That would be fun. And if you all don't know already, I've joined with um, seven other ladies, and we have formed a um, design group. If you're interested in joining our design group, we teach techniques and things in there. Everybody has a different specialty. We do everything from wreaths to signs, hats, chalk painting, Furniture restoration, a whole slew of things that everybody is an expert at. Thank you for sharing. And our group is called Fabulous Desi uh, Dreams Design Group. And it's $19.95 a month. And you get access to all eight of us, and you get one live a week, and one Zoom call, which is like a video conference call, where we talk about everything and anything, from design to life in general. Lewisburg, North Carolina. Yep. Yeah, I just went to the one in Smithfield yesterday. They also have one in South Carolina by my daughter, so whenever I go there, I get to go to that one. <laughs> and if you don't know who is all in our design group, like I said, there's seven of us. Sorry, I got hair in my mouth here. There is seven of us. Myself, there is Tequila Florence with Unburitable, and some of these ladies you probably already follow. If not, you should follow their pages as well. They all do beautiful work. There's Rita from Rita's Wreath Barn, and Robin from Robin's Wreathery, um, Carla from One Stop Boutique, and then we have Sandy. And she is with uh, Trending Designs by Sandy. And then we have Susan, who's usually on here, but I haven't seen her yet. Um, she is with uh, AC Inspired Wreaths. And we have a lot of fun. 
So if you're looking for a design group, check us out. We'd love to have you come and join us. I've had a lot of people ask me if I had a design group. And to be honest with you, it was just too much work for me to do by myself. So when they all asked me to join their group, I jumped at the chance. Because not only do you get one of us, you get all several, well, all eight of us. Oh, you had a hard time getting in, Carla? I'm sorry. Um, Carolina Potter, yeah, it's only on, um, they only have them out here on the East Coast. Um, they do have online, but they don't have everything online. So you can shop some online, but it's, yeah, it's carolinapottery.com. But they are in um, Georgia, South Carolina, Virginia, North Carolina. Um, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. And Georgia. I think they covered them all. They've been around for a long time. I've loved, even before I started doing wreaths, I loved going to Carolina Pottery. So if y'all wouldn't mind sharing this, um, I would really appreciate it. We're trying to get our likes, my likes, up to 2,000. We're almost there. When I get up to 2,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. When I started tonight, we were at 1945. <laughs> new computer. Oh, I need a new computer. I don't know, though. All you guys who get new computers are having problems with them. I don't know. Maybe I should stick. Well, I'm still having problems with my old one, but at least it's problems I know about. <laughs> All right. A couple more to go here. So if you all watch YouTube at all, I do have a YouTube channel as well. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It's um, the same channel there that it is on here. It's Wreath Decor by Dawn. And um, all my videos, all my lives that I've ever done since last October, um, that's when I started doing lives, are all posted over on YouTube after I do them. You can find them here on Facebook too, but I put them all on YouTube. So head on over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel there and hit that little bell icon. And when you do, it will um, keep you updated when I post things over there as well. Or go live over there. You never know. I think I need to be doing more lives in the next couple of weeks so that I can get stuff done. It seems to be the only time I can get something done. I come up here with the intention of doing several things and then I get started on the computer and the next thing I know, half my day is gone. So it's not working out for me. <laughs> so it seems like the only time I can get stuff accomplished is when I go on live. So anybody have any new projects they're working on? Like I said, I got a ton of things I want to get done for this craft fair. and Just don't know if I'm going to get them all done. All right, so this is my last piece. You're working on a gnome. I did one of those last week for our design group. 
Robin made the gnome for me because I had a sign and she uh, sent it to me and I used it on a swag that I did in our group, in our design group, private group. Oh, a peacock wreath. I'll bet that's pretty. Lavon, you've been quiet, girl. That's the first time I've seen you there. All right, so there's our base. So see, that filled that in really good. Can't see through there too much now. When we get everything else on there, you won't be able to see it all. All right, everybody, take a drink. Oh, I did make a bow. I didn't show you guys that. I made a bow, but I'm not real happy with it, so I don't know how it's going to look. So that might change. I don't like the way I did it. I was trying to do something different than the same old, same old that I always do, and I don't know if that's why I don't like it or if it's just the way it looks. All right, so for those of you who just joined, I've got this red sheer, shimmery red, one and a half inch. You don't have to let others talk. You can talk to me too. I have this one here that's got the holly berries and some little gold bells in there. You can barely see them. We have this pretty green sheer shimmer. And then of course, the cardinals. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna put the green with the cardinals and the red with the holly berries. So yesterday, mom was mom's birthday, and she wanted to go to Culver's, which I hadn't heard of until she told me about it. But it was up towards Raleigh. So I drove up there yesterday so that we could get burgers up there. And then it wasn't very far from the outlets, so guess what? I had to go over there. And I'm starting on the top. I don't know why. I just did. Something different. I have all this snowball mesh attached to my shirt now. No, you're not late. <laughs> Nickname is Motormelon. I don't believe that at all. Levon is also one of our designers in our group. And she does some beautiful furniture, you guys. She did a centerpiece the other day that she's bringing to me when she comes to paint my house. She does she knows that she's she knows that she's coming. <laughs> she's very disappointed in me because I've been in this house for two years and I don't have anything on the walls. <laughs> So all my ribbons are cut at 14 inches. That's the length that I like. Some people prefer 12. To me, on most things, especially if I do a... 
<laughs> when I uh, do 12 inch poofs, I just think 14 is best. And I really like a, a 12 inch poof. <laughs> she did a beautiful centerpiece for fall you guys have to see it check out her page forever dreams of you Less things to dust, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say that's the reason that I haven't hung anything up, but it's not. It's just pure laziness. You know, when we sold our house in New York or where we were getting it ready to sell, you know, you got to take down your pictures and try to declutter as much as possible. And I really liked that. Once I did it, took everything down, cleaned off all the counters, had very little on the counters. I really liked it like that. I have a lot of gadgets in my kitchen, a lot of appliances. Yep, I can do a recap. Give me one second and I will do a recap. All right, so what I did was I um, I use I make my own frames, forms. I don't um, use the work forms. I do when I have some, but I like making my own. It's just something I've always done since I started doing this. Um, now my computer is acting up. Anyway, I did a 21 inch um, base with 12 inch poofs, uh, white mesh, and then I did um, the red and white snowball mesh which is a 10 inch mesh i cut them at 20 inches so it uses one whole roll you get 18 pieces out of it and uh, ruffled those up and put those in each tie so every tie has one and now i'm putting on the ribbons and the ribbons i have is a cardinal and a green shear the snowball is flying around everywhere and then I have a hollyberry leaves with the red shear. And then I'm going to put a red cardinal sign on here. I'll show you that. This is my sign. <clears throat> that came from Personally Yours. This is the 8 inch sign. And then I've got some little ber uh, berry picks, some hollies, some cardinal, little red cardinals I'm going to put on there. And then some flex tubing and a bow. The frame is a 14 inch frame. I get mine at the Dollar Tree. I will just give you a little bit of advice. If you buy them at the Dollar Tree, make sure you check them and make sure that they are not broken because I have gotten some where the rungs are broken. So I go through each and every one that I buy and I don't buy them by the case from them anymore because I did that once and the half the case, literally half, 10 of them were um, broken and they would not take them back at the store because I bought them online and had them shipped to my house. So I had to call. They did refund me for those 10, but now I've got 10 frames that are broken that I can't do anything with. So, so now I go into the store and I buy them and I stand there and check each and every one of them before I put it in my basket.
which isn't bad. It's just right around the corner from me, so no problem. So if you all don't already get alerts, if you want to be notified when I go live, um, just uh, type in the word live in the comments here. You'll get a message in Facebook Messenger and it'll say, do you want to sign up for the live alerts? Say yes. Type the word yes. And you will be on the list. Every Wednesday about 7 p.m. Eastern Time, you'll get a message from me saying I'm going live at 8 o'clock and this is what I'm making and that's the only time that you'll hear from me on there watching in North Carolina we're at in North Carolina Dawn from North Carolina hi I'm Dawn from North Carolina Now, if you tell me you're from the same city I am, that'll be really weird. I do that too, LaVon. I thought I was the only one. I make sure, and I make sure all the flowers are on them too. Because I get home and find some that aren't. Okay, you're not from the same town as me. I've never heard of that one though. Whereabouts is that at? All right, so there's the top. <laughs> Philadelphia. I was just there. Loved Philadelphia. I was there for four days, had a fabulous time. So many nice, welcoming, helpful people that we met while we were there. Of course, for the weekend, my sister and I renamed it the City of Sisterly Love instead of Brotherly Love. But we had so much fun. Yeah, I do. I check all my flowers when I buy them. I check the frames. I forget sometimes to check signs when I buy them and make sure that, you know, like there's not any marks or anything on them or there's not something, you know, messed up on them. Sometimes I get so excited by a sign that I forget to check it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not, you know, all the years I've been here, I've never been to the Outer Banks. Can you believe that? I think that's like unlawful or um, un uh, North Carolinian. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Ann, every, every person that we met over the weekend when we were there, we were there from for four days and I'm telling you we didn't meet one rude person we didn't have any issues it was just my sister and I you know everyone always kept to warning us you know be careful you know don't go out at night we had no problem we rode the subways we took the buses there people were telling us you know where we should go you know to see stuff when they found out we were from out of town, if we were standing there tra talking, trying to figure out where we were going to go next, people would come up and give us suggestions, and 
I'm telling you, it was so nice. Okay, LaVon wants to know, everybody, answer her honestly. If she came to craft with you, what one thing would you not let her play with in your craft room? That's a good question. Hmm. I would say ribbon, but that's a lie. I'd let you play with the ribbon. I don't think there's anything in here that you can't play with. Maybe my computer, only because... I already have enough problems with it. I don't need any more. <laughs> That's a good question. Hmm. I gotta look around now and see. What wouldn't I let you play with? Joanne says ribbon. I want to go back. I told my husband. My husband and I were there back in the 90s. Um, but the only thing we did was we went to see the Liberty Bell um, while we were passing through. We were going. We were on our way to go to New York City. And then after that, we were going to Atlantic City. And we got caught in a thunderstorm at the Liberty Bell, which is really funny because when my sister and I went this time, we, it wasn't a thunderstorm, but it was raining. Um... But yeah, so that was the only thing him and I got to do while we were there. So I thought he would really like to, after this trip that I just took, I thought he would like to go there. You know, Lamont, I really can't think of anything in here that I wouldn't let someone handle or touch or use. I really can't. Yeah, I, I mean, I would let I would let someone use my scissors as long as they weren't using them on paper. Yeah, they are. But I'd let you touch. I mean, you could use those as long as you ain't cutting paper. It does you right? Everyone else does. Why not? That's a really good question, Lamont. I'll share my toys. I don't mind. Yeah, the tin signs are really nice. The aluminum signs. I think the colors are just more um, vibrant on the metal. I think it's the metal that has to do with. And see, the nice thing about coming to my house, Lamon, is that the spare bed is right here in the craft room. <laughs> so you could lay in bed and play with all the craft stuff. <laughs> Unless you're my son-in-law. He feels like he's sleeping in Hobby Lobby or Michael's when he comes here. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, as much as I would love to see my kids and grandkids, if they were to tell me they were coming to visit right now, I'd probably cry because 
I have so much stuff on the bed that I don't know that I would be able to get it all off. You can nap and craft at the same time. Knitting and cross stitching. You know, I tried once to knit and it just did not work out for me. I used to crochet. I used to do that a lot, but it just hurts my hands too much now. Exactly. <laughs> I wish mine lived here. Well, my son does, so I don't have to clear the bed for him. We have another room, but the other room is where the kids stay. And then in here is where my daughter and her husband stay. Because I can't leave the kids in here with all my stuff. That would probably drive me insane. Although the older ones stay in here when they're here and the parents aren't here. They're pretty good. They know not to touch grandma's stuff. But the littler ones are the ones I gotta watch out for. Because, you know, they see a pair of scissors. They don't care what they're for. They're just going to use them. Or if they see glue and markers and stuff like that, they're going to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's all of our ribbons. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to put the sign on first. I did not put the holes in it yet because I didn't know where I was going to put it, so I don't know how many holes I need. But I'm thinking it's going to go on the side, and then if I keep this bow, I know I'm going to put a bow on here, whether it's this one or another one. It's going to go next to it, and then I'm going to put the cardinals around it. Yeah, I like it side by side. So I'm going to do that. So let me fold down my ties. Well, actually, let me put my tubing in first. Because I don't know. I'm only doing tubing in every other tie. Oh, how did that get over there? Instead of every tie. That may change. Once I get done, I may change my mind and put it in the other ties, but for now I'm going to... So my tubing is cut at um, 24 inches. I just cut it the length of my mat. And I'm going to take my twist ties and I'm going to fold them over. bend that one over just because I don't know if I'm going to put any in it yet. I don't usually do every other tie so I don't know if I'll be able to not put it in <laughs> every tie. But that's probably where they'll put the little picks too. Because I do have some little picks that I'm going to put in here. That have little pine cones on them and berries and leaves and they match the sign really well. A lot of talented people in here. If you all have Instagram, I'm also on Instagram. I'd love for you to follow me over there as well. I'm trying to be more active on my other social media and not just on Facebook. Which is why I never get anything done because I'm always trying to work on those things.
I come up here with the intention of saying I'm not going to turn my computer on and then I remember something I have to do and that's where it all falls apart sure give me one second and I'll put that up for you I just have to put one more of these in and I will hold it up for you to see Uh, the bow that I made, I did it on the Easy Bow Maker, and I do the loops at six inches. I start at six, and I go down a half an inch with each ribbon that I use. And on that one, I used I think um, six or I think it was six or seven ribbons. I'll have to count them. All right, so there's. Let me see if you guys can see it any better this way probably too close but that's so there's that yeah the bow's got let's see we've got one two, three, four, five, yeah, six ribbons. Thank you. So I'm just putting the flex tubing in every other tie right now. I usually do every tie, but I don't know why. I just chose tonight not to. Love flex tubing. LaVon, how did you get into painting? All right, one more, and then we'll put the sign on there. All right. So that's done. All right, let's see where I want. 
want my top and my bottom to be. I'm gonna go with this. This right here. All right. So I did not get holes in the sign when I ordered it. Um, I used to, but now I just do it myself because I never know where I'm gonna put them. So I get this little tool here. It's called the Beadsmith. You can get it at the hobby store. It's in the jewelry department. And that is what I use to punch holes in it. It's a little metal hole punch. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna do top and bottom first. But most of the sign makers, if you want the holes already put in them, they will do it for you. Awesome. All right, so I'm just using 26 gauge silver wire. Silver wire hides the best. All right, so I'm going to put the sign right here. I'm going to move it over just a tad. It doesn't have to be right at the edge. All right, another little tip. Get yourself one of these needles if you do wreaths. It's a, um, some people call it a yarn needle. Uh, it's got different names. Um, I got mine at... Um, Hobby Lobby next to the yarn. Okay, I don't know where that wire went, but. Let's shake it out when we're done. Anyway, it helps to get the, the wires through the mesh without fighting with it. So I can take both of these wires and put them through at the same time. And I'm going to go right on the back side here of a tie. And my needle is pretty long, so it goes right through there. And then I just put take each piece of the wire and go around the frame and tie it to that. Thank you. If I can get my fingers in there to, there it goes. And I don't want to pull it too tight because I don't want to smash my mesh and my ribbons. I just want it to sit right on top. So I'm just going to give it a twist or two so it'll stay in place while I tighten down the other side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go on the front side of the tie. And I will probably put one of those picks right there and that'll hide that wire. Don't you love the sign? It's so pretty. 
sign came from personally yours. She has a Facebook page and an Etsy store. She does some beautiful signs. She puts out a new sign every day and you get um, for that day till midnight that night, I think it is, you get, I uh, want to say 20% off, but don't hold me to that for the day on her new sign. Just the one sign that she puts out, but still, that's a great savings. And her signs aren't that expensive to begin with. All right, so I might put another wire on the side here just to keep it from shifting side to side, but I can do that later. So see, it's just sitting on top of there. It's not smashing the mesh. It's not smashing the ribbon. You don't want to smash that down and hide all your mesh and everything. So we'll go ahead and put the bow on there, but like I said, if I don't like it, I'm going to take it off. You bought from her before? Yeah, I love her signs. All right, so let's see. We'll go this way. So I should have moved that. I don't want to put that right there. All right. Well, welcome. In the UK. So what time is it over there? Alright, so I've got pipe cleaners on the back of my bow here, so I'm just going to do one at a time. And I'm going to, I, I don't want to go right in where the tie is, so I'm going to go just past it. And I'm going to pull this down right through the frame. Thank you. I'm very critical of my own bows. <laughs> and I don't make them on lives, unfortunately. Not yet. Maybe someday. All right, so I'm going to set this up here. I think I probably just need to cut my tails on the bow down. They're probably a little long. That may be what's throwing me off. Two in the morning? What are you doing watching lives? You should be sleeping. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a twist or two. I'm not gonna secure it for permanently. So I can come in here and, yeah, I think I just need to cut the uh, tails on these down. See, I don't know what kind of bow this is, what the method is called, but I did it, you know, you put it in, put one in facing you, put one in opposite, Backwards, upside down, whatever you want to call it. So that's what I did. All right, so then I'm going to put these picks in there and put the birds on and we'll be done. As soon as I find my other scissors. Hello, hello. If y'all wouldn't mind giving my page a share one more time. If you haven't liked my page already, please go and like it. We're trying to get to 2,000 likes. When I get to 2,000, I'm going to have a giveaway. And everybody will be eligible to enter. Oh, wow. That is not going to make me happy. I'm going to have to fix that. Leaf came off. Oh, I don't like that. All right, so I will fix this one. Thank you. 
So I'm going to put a pick in here, if I can get it to go in. I don't want to cut them just yet. I guess I won't pull on those leaves. I don't want any more falling off. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm trying to get to 2,000 likes. When we do, I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm not sure what we're going to do for the giveaway. The last one we had, I gave away a gift card. So this time, it'll probably be a gift card and then something else. Not sure. But we are very close. We only needed 55 when I started tonight, so. And this wreath is listed in my store already. It's under the um, Facebook Live photo. If anyone's interested. Doesn't want to stick in there. There it goes. So we got that one, and I've got one more I'm going to put over here. Probably should have done these earlier so I don't have to sit here and watch me do this. Forgot to take the tags off of them. All right. So these just have little pine cones, the holly berries, the pick, the, um, I mean the leaves, the picks, the berries, whatever you want to call them. These little pine cone things. That one's going to go there. Fix that. And then we got the birds. And these are just clip-on birds, but what I will do is I will, um, I'm not going to rely on the clips, because you never know. Can't even get them off of here. I guess it helps if you take the tape off of them first. Not the brightest on. So we'll pull those out. But anyway, I will um, wire these down because I don't want to rely on just the clips to keep them in place. Even though I'm sure they would stay because they have those little alligator clips on them. So they have little teeth on them so they're not going to go anywhere, but still. All right, so we're going to put... this one down here if I can get it on there it sure doesn't make the clip very big there there's one kind of small so they get lost in here but um this way. No. I don't know. I might want to put them on the sign. Maybe not. Uh, the birds came from AC Moore. They came in a pack of six. And I used uh, three of them on one that I made last year. So these are the three I had left. And then I'm going to put one in the bow. If I can get them to go the right direction. There we go. Can you see those okay?
That's all right. Can you see that? Um, I'll probably, this one's not going to stay on here. I'm just going to find another spot for him. I might have to put it, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to put it right on here. There we go. Use that tie. There we go. And then I'll cut these ties down just a little bit here, these tails that on, on the bow. Or maybe I'll roll them up. So you got the little one here inside the bow. Thank you. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. So I will secure all these in. You don't wanna sit here and watch me tie all these in here. So I will glue these in and tie the birds in so that they don't go anywhere. And I have to fix that ribbon or that leaf on that one. All right, guys, so again, if you um, would like to join our design group, head on over to Fabulous um, Dreams Design Group. We would love to have you over there. Like I said, you get eight designers twice a week. Thank you, honey. I'm going to text you when I get done. And um, like I said, we do everything from wreaths, centerpieces, florals, grapevines, um, furniture, signs, hats, um, aprons, chalk painting, you name it, we got it covered. So check us out. Give all of our pages a like. We would really appreciate that. Follow me on Instagram and on YouTube. Um, like I said, all my videos are uploaded to YouTube. I guess you guys could look at me now, huh? <coughs> there we go. Hey. <laughs> no problem. The replay is always posted here on Facebook, and I upload it on Friday to YouTube. Um, every video that I've done since last October is over there on YouTube as well. And... Um, yeah, give my page a like so we can hit those 2,000 and we can do the giveaway. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hi. Now you can see what I look like. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to get my camera set up so that I can have it so you can see me and what I'm doing. But it's just one of those things I haven't done yet, you know. So... Well, I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. I appreciate it very much. Um, the name of the other group is the Fabulous Dreams Design Group. It's $19.95 a month. You get eight designers. We're all in different time zones. So we got time zones covered. And we, well, most of us are in different time zones. So a couple of us are here on the East Coast. Yep. Yeah. It'd be great. We would love to have you over there. We go live on Friday nights in that group. And then on Mondays we do our um, Zoom call, which is a video conference call. So you can see us, talk to us, ask questions, chit chat, whatever you want to do. You have our undivided attention. Good night. Thank you guys for so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Have a great night, guys, and I will see you again next week. Good night.